Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another eyeshadow palette review. Now this little guy that we're going to be talking about in today's video is probably, ooh, I reckon it's it's fair to say that it's one of Too Faced's most anticipated and also probably the most popular release for them for the year. Yes, we are talking about the Gingerbread Spice Palette. Now, when I first saw this um, pop up on Instagram, I think Trend Mood, maybe somebody posted a picture of it and I was like, okay, I need to go on a wait list or something like that is epic. It is a holiday themed kind of palette. It's got 18 shades. The packaging to die for. And I'll do you one even better. Smells like gingerbread. Like it smells so good. Um, I'm going to be showing you the palette in a second. Um, but basically we're going to be reviewing this. Um, you know, everybody is trying to get their hands on this. And I've had so many requests from people being like, do I actually need to go to the effort and jump on the wait list to get this, you know, when it's back in stock? We're going to basically find out today. I've never used it. I have basically, it arrived in the mail yesterday and I opened it up and literally gagged. Like not even kidding. I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm going to be showing you swatches of all of the shades and then we're going to create a look using the palette on my eyes. So if you're interested in a review and swatches and demo of the brand new Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette, then please keep on watching. Now, just quickly before we jump into the video, I did want to mention that we are having a huge Black Friday Cyber Monday sale over on Nikia Joe Cosmetics. I totally forgot to mention in the video. Sorry, guys. Um, but we've got 25 to 40% off site wide and that's everything. So all of our classic collections, all of our multi-packs, our foaming lashes, our 3D Silk Luxury Lashes, everything is 25 to 40% off. And we do offer free worldwide shipping no matter where you are on any spend over $40. So yeah, make sure that you come over and also make sure that you are following our Instagram page. It is Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Um, you know, we update on all of our sales and everything over there. So yes, just quickly wanted to let you guys know that so that you didn't miss out. Now let's jump straight into the video. All right, first we have price, 49 US dollars. Like I said, it's an 18 shadow palette. Here in Australia, it is exclusively available at Maker Maxima and you can pick it up for 71 Australian dollars. Um, you know, basically fairly standard for Too Faced palettes here. The colors look beautiful. The external packaging is really nice. It's got like a soft touch sort of laminate on it. See, there's like a little gingerbread guy there. It's really, really cute. And then this is the back of the palette. Oh, and I've also got this little guy here too. The Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Gingerbread Scented. The palette definitely doesn't say limited edition, only this does. And also I can't find anywhere on the Too Faced website that says it's limited edition. So this palette might be part of their permanent lineup. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a liquefied matte longwear lipstick and I've got the shade Gingerbread Girl. Oh, I opened it for a second and smelt it. Oh, this is going to make me break the diet. I just know it. Ooh. All right, so this is what the external packaging looks like. So it's in the same format as Too Faced other palettes, you know, like the metal tin. Um, clasps at the bottom. This is the front. Again, you've got your cute little gingerbread man. We need a name him. Ginger George. I like that. Oh, we just call it Ginge. Let's call him Ginge. And on the back, you've just got a little bit more information about the palette. Um, really, really cute. Now, the part you've all been waiting for. Let's get into this guy. Oh, look at this palette. It is actually absolutely stunning. So you've got your 18 shades at the bottom and then old mate Ginge is hanging out up here on the mirror as well, just in case you need a friend. It is actually insane. Like looking at it, I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, is this palette going to make me cheat on my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette? Mm, we might need to go to relationship counseling. I don't know. So I can see that there's definitely a mixture of textures in this one. There are some beautiful rich mattes. Uh, there are shimmers, like sort of demi sort of satin looking shimmers. And then there also looks like there's some really beautiful, like quite vibrant metallic kind of pressed glitter ish looking shimmers. Obviously it's very, very difficult to tell like before going in with the swatches. They also have the cutest names. Reindeer Paws, Hot Toddy Figgy Pudding, Sugar Daddy. Oh, hello. Frost Bite Me, Powdered Sugar Spiked Eggnog. Like really, really cute, like holiday themed names. I am like, this year I'm literally the most festive person alive. We put our Christmas tree up like at the start of November. I was like, there's no shame in my game. I do not care. I've also put up a second Christmas tree since then. <laughs> Why not? Just so festive. I just want to bake. I've got the Christmas carols going constantly. This year, 
is my year to shine. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much we're gonna jump straight into swatches of the palette and then we're gonna be creating a full look on my eyes as per the usual format of these videos. And then at the end, I'm gonna let you know whether or not I actually think it is worth you picking this one up. All right, so here is another quick look at the outside packaging of the palette, really, really cute. And here's another look at all of the shades. As you can see, mixtures of mattes, uh, majority warm tones, and then you've got some beautiful rich shimmers in this one as well. And I'm really liking the look of that olive green. I think she's looking cute. All right, let's swatch. First, we have powdered sugar, a matte bone. Then we have spiked eggnog, a shimmery champagne. This one here is gumdrop, very, very difficult shade to swatch. Gingerbread, a matte brown, also quite difficult to swatch. They do blend and smooth out eventually, but on an initial swatch, they're quite tricky. Warm and toasty, this amazing gold, obsessed. And ooh, burn, this shimmery plum. Incredible, like the pigmentation and shimmer on those is gorgeous. Frostbite Me is more of like a sheer glitter topper. Looky at my cookie, a matte pink. Spice is nice, a matte orange. Again, a little tricky to swatch, beautiful color. But yeah, just a little tricky to swatch. And then Oh Snap, this is a brown with sort of slight small gold reflex and then bake it till you make it, obsessed. This one's like a really warm, toasty brown. I love, love, love that one. Then we have Spice of Life, that amazing olive green with like a gold undertone. Sugar Daddy is a pale pink matte. Figgy Pudding, a um, little tricky to swatch again, a little bit patchy. Hot Toddy, oh my gosh, obsessed. Shimmery Pink. Reindeer Paws is a matte cool tone, kind of a brown. Gingerbread Latte is a matte lighter brown. And then finally Spiced Rum, this sort of shimmery, silvery kind of brown. So pretty. All right, so that was all of the swatches. A couple of things that I did notice from the swatches, and as always, guys, do not judge an eyeshadow purely based on a finger swatch. Um, it's more about how it applies and blends and works on the eyes. I'm such a broken record, like I repeat that all the time, but yeah, it's not like, they're not made for wearing on your arm, basically. So a couple of things that I did notice about this palette. Firstly, the shimmers, um, this shimmer, this one, this one, this one, uh, maybe, maybe this one. Oh, sorry. Hopefully you could see that. The shimmers in this palette um, very much remind me of the chocolate gold palette, that really, really rich metallic pigmented buttery like gorgeous, gorgeous formula. Um, the two that looked like kind of like pressed glitter shimmers, this one and this one here. So we've got sugar, oh no, frostbite me and spiced rum. Um, it was more of like a glitter overspray and when swatched, they just weren't as shimmery and metallic as they looked in the pan. They weren't even as shimmery and metallic as these other metallics. Um, the mattes also all have very different formulas, which is interesting for a palette. And quite a few of the mattes swatched absolutely terribly as well. Like the deep dark chocolate, this pink here. Um, it's, it was weird. This, this matte, this matte, uh, this matte, they all had like nearly like a wet kind of a matte formula. Whereas the others were quite powdery and dry. Um, this spiked eggnog shade um, wasn't that shimmery. And also the frostbite me shade is more of like a glitter topper. Um, it's very, very sheer. So just first things that I sort of noticed when swatching these. Um, also, I wanted to show you this palette next to the chocolate gold. Because they do have quite a few similarities. Um, let me just sort myself out. Oh, and when you realize that you are zoomed in too much. Great. Great. Okay, so these are the two palettes here. As you can see, there are definitely a lot of overlapping shades. The pink, definitely. Um, the gold, some of those blending mattes. Um, obviously the green, but if you were to sort of like cancel out that green, like block it out. They're very similar color stories. I'm pretty sure Too Faced came out with this one last year. This is the chocolate gold. Um, absolutely love, 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 loved this palette. So... Yeah, I'm interested to see how the gingerbread one goes. All right, so I'm just gonna prime my eyes really quickly. I've been trying this new thing where I'm not setting my eye primer. Um, yeah, we'll report back. I'm still undecided. I've been doing it for about two weeks now. Still not sure. Now in this palette, I actually really, really enjoyed this shade here, Spice of Life. It was just the most beautiful olive gold green. Oh, it's just magic. So I actually want to do a look using that color today for sure. So firstly, I'm going to go in with Gingerbread Latte, this medium matte brown. Do you get quite a bit of pigment when you pick that up on the brush? And I'm going to work that one. Oh my goodness. High pigment. I'm going to work that one through the crease first. Blending out really nicely. It's good to see. Damn, I really like this color. 
It's sort of right in the middle of cool tone and warm tone. Um, it's basically like the perfect color for a transition. Now to add a little bit more warmth, I'm gonna take this orangey pumpkin shade Spice is Nice. This one is a matte. And I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up on a brush and softly blend that as well. You guys have heard me talk about this before. An orange eyeshadow in an eyeshadow palette is an absolute must have in my opinion because you can use orange to blend out pretty much every single color. And especially if you're having troubles blending, it's just, it's a miracle worker in a palette. I'm going to work that one through the crease as well. See how it's just sort of adding a touch of warmth just above that crease area? I love orange in a palette. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to take Spiced Eggnog now. There's a really beautiful shimmery champagne color. And I'm going to pop that on as a brush. Oh, oh girl. Okay, that is a lot more pigmented than it looked in the swatch. It's really catching that light. Holy cow. That's gonna need blending, it's so pigmented. Damn. That's like a sneaky little eyeshadow that I did not expect to be like that. That is so pigmented, you guys. Whoa, it did not look that pretty in the swatch. Okay, don't always judge a book by its cover. I just wanna try that one on the inner corner as well, so I'm taking it on a small detailing brush. Just feel like, oh, uh, yup. Prettiest inner corner highlight ever. And as you can see from this, it's a lot more pigmented than it looked from the swatch. Oh my gosh, that's insane. All right, I'm gonna go in with Spice of Life, the olivey goldy green shade now. I wanna see how this goes being applied a couple of different ways. So firstly, a flat dry brush. Oh, that actually works. Pretty well, pretty well. You do get quite a bit of pigment coming off with that actually. That's really, really impressive for a shimmer. All right, I'm gonna try it with a wet brush now. So taking Fix Plus, I'm gonna wet a brush. Go into that shadow. Ooh, okay. All right, you get a lot of payoff with that. Um, hi. Wow. So yeah, both those methods work really well. And um, finally, I'm actually gonna try it with a finger. Oh, you get so much pigment this way. Oh my God, look at that. Um, look at the difference. Definitely finger all of the way. I mean, it's the best way to apply metallic shadows. We've spoken about this so many times. Um, dry brush, you still get a reasonable amount. Wet brush, you get even more, but with a finger, 10 out of 10, full pigment. If I went back in over this and apply with my finger, what would happen? Oh, yeah. Still really pretty. I'm taking the shadow on that brush again, and I'm just gonna get it in nice and close to the inner corner. It's the only thing that is hard about, you know, using your finger. Got small eyes like me. Can't get all the way in there. All right, I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow, you guys. It's just the most beautiful, unique color. Oh, it's so pretty. So I've picked up a tiny little bit of that shadow on a blending brush, and I'm just gonna work that softly through the crease. Just to haze out the edge. It's looking pretty good. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take gingerbread, this really warm color here. Really does smell yummy. The scent is not as sort of intense as the, God, my brain's not working. Um, The peach products, you know how that's a really intense peach smell? This one's more of like a soft kind of a smell. Let me smell this one. Maybe a little bit stronger than the chocolate scent, but not as strong as the peach scent, if that makes sense. All right, taking that one on a brush, I'm gonna rub that through the lower lash line. Oh, that's a really pretty warm tone brown. And look at the pigmentation. Like I just went bang, bang. Look at that. I'm gonna try this one here, Figgy Pudding as well. This is a matte, very, very hard to swatch. Look, it was just super patchy when I swatched it. Mm, not really getting... Ah, that's better. It's very soft, it's pretty though. It's so hard with these eyeshadow palette reviews. Like it's nearly impossible to use every shade, but I always try and use as many as possible. To balance things out, I'm gonna take Spice of Life again, that green, and put a little in here. 
And then finally to finish the eye, I want to try that super vibrant gold, warm and toasty. This one here, it looks insane. Um, swatch like an absolute dream. And I just want to see how it performs on the eyes. So taking it on a finger, ooh, and I dunked my finger in another eyeshadow, of course. And pack it right in the center of the lid. Ooh, pretty. Do some really insane gold eyeshadow looks with this. It's packing on well. Um, I can't test it on a brush really because I am applying it on top of another shimmer. Um, like this is sort of the only option that you have. But, you know, it's working really well in this way. All right, so this is what we sort of ended up with. Um, I think all of the shadows performed really well. I am going to quickly jump off camera and finish off my makeup, you know, lashes, cheeks, everything like that. And then I'll be right back to chat about the palette. All right, so I've just finished off the rest of my makeup. I used the gingerbread liquid lipstick. Oh my goodness. This is one of the most beautiful, like unique colors ever. It's like a, it's a red, but then it's got like a really deep, like warm brown kind of aspect to it. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. It's absolutely stunning. So hands down, like totally recommend this one. The formula is really nice. It smells incredible. It's got little gingerbread ladies on the cap. It's so cute. And not only does it smell amazing, it actually tastes sweet. Like it tastes like sugar. I buy this, trust me buy this. All right. Now, as far as the palette goes, um, a couple of things to go over. Firstly, I personally think that the packaging and the concept and the design and, you know, like the color layout, color story of this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I think that it's totally worth it based on that. If you are somebody that enjoys these kinds of colors, you love your warm, you know, browns, your really rich metallics, um, pinks, purples, and things like that. I think that you'll adore this. I think as far as quality goes, it's definitely worth it for the price. Um, you know, you've got a whole bunch of different textures in this palette, some really beautiful mattes, some beautiful shimmers, and like I said, like a whole different array of colors. Um, I think it's gorgeous. Now with that in mind, a lot of these shadows, probably a lot of these colors are available in other palettes. So whether or not this one is actually worth you investing in is 100%, you know, that's going to be based on what you already own. I do think if you picked up the chocolate gold palette, which I'm pretty sure they released around holiday times last year, um, I if you've already got this, it may not be worth you picking up the gingerbread one because because there are definitely an overlap of a lot of shades in here. But at the same time, this palette's nearly an entirely metallic palette, whereby the gingerbread one's got a lot more mattes. And honestly, I would nearly buy the palette. Like personally, I would nearly repurchase this palette specifically for this shade here. What was it? Spiced Eggnog? Like, I cannot believe how ridiculously vibrant and pigmented and stunning and flattering and beautiful this color is. Like, it's just one of the most beautiful highlight shades. Like, oh, and it was a total, like I was totally shocked about that because it didn't look that amazing when it was swatched. Um, it just really depends on if you love warm tones, if you've got already enough warm tone palettes. Um, it smells incredible. It's really pleasant to use. It's, you know, perfect for beginners because the formulation is easy to work with. Like I, I personally really, really like this and I think that it's totally worth the money, but yeah, it just depends on what you've already got. So there you go, guys. Those are my first impressions on the new Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I would love to know what you guys think of the palette? What do you think of the colors, the color story? Are you going to be getting it? Have you already got it? What do you think? And what do you think of this eye look? Like, I feel like it's really unique and different. Um, still very wearable, still very like sort of flattering for everyone, but it is it is different. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, there'll be more holiday items, makeup collections, you know, review videos coming. Um, I've been doing them fairly consistently. I'm obsessed with holiday makeup. So yes, I love you all so, so much. Make sure that you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also ring the bell. I know we've got an extra step. It's kind of painful. It is what it is. But yes, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.